How are you coping? This is an incredibly difficult time for our family. Um, there's nothing we want to uh, happen more than uh, to get also uh, back. Um, my children need her. Uh, I need uh, my wife back. Um, we're incredibly thankful for all the support that we've received from all over the world. Um, Alsu is an American citizen and uh, Russian authorities have yet to grant um, consular access to her. That hasn't happened yet. Uh, we want this to happen as soon as possible. Um, as an American, as a human being, also has certain inalienable rights and these rights must be upheld. What can the US government do to help you? Well, we're already very grateful for the support that we are receiving, but what we need to happen is uh, for Alsu to be designated as a wrongfully detained person. Uh, this is a, a very important uh, designation that, com that comes from the United States government and from the State Department. Otherwise, we, are, um, we also very much appreciate uh, the public support that we are receiving. Um, we, we've seen the uh, very strong statements coming out of the UN um, Human Rights Commission uh, from Amnesty International. Uh, there recently was a very strong editorial by the Washington Post calling for Alsu's release. Um, but uh, what I would like to see more of is uh, more diplomatic pressure from uh, other countries, particularly from Turkey. Um, because of Alsu's Turkic uh, origins. She is Tatar, who was born in Kazakhstan, um, and uh, from uh, Islamic countries, taking into account Alsu's uh, Muslim identity. Tell me how this situation started. Alsu had to attend to a uh, family emergency in, uh, in the middle of May this year. Uh, so she arrived in Kazan in Tatarstan uh, on, um, on the 20th of May and uh, um, her visit was coming to an end and uh, before she uh, was scheduled to board the plane, literally 15 minutes before that, um, she was called up by security and uh, um, they uh, confiscated her American passport a Russian passport. She happens to be a citizen of uh, both the United States and Russia. They seized her telephone and uh, gained access to all her personal communication to chats in the most unceremonious way. Um, then, um, consequently, she was accused of not reporting her American citizenship to the Russian authorities. And now, it is a criminal offense in Russia. The authorities dragged this ridiculous case out for five months before issuing a small fine. And so when this case was coming to a close and she was waiting for her passports to be returned to her, masked men came knocking on her door and took her away. And she has been in detention since. Alsu is a political prisoner. She is in jail because she is a journalist and she is an American. She must be released as soon as possible. Alsu is uh, now accused of not registering as a foreign agent uh, under some aggravating circumstances, supposedly because she was gathering information. Um, but isn't that the nature, the very nature of journalistic work? Can you tell me a little bit more about Alsu's journalistic work? For a quarter of a century, she's been a, a broadcaster, a radio broadcaster, and a journalist, and then an editor at uh, the Tata Bashkir service here at uh, Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty. She has a very uh, distinct, inimitable radio voice, you know. Uh, one of the voices that um, um, Tatars in Kazan, all over Tatarstan, and throughout the world, really, heard on their radio receivers, on you know, uh, in their cars, in their kitchens, when uh, uh, Radio Azatlik was uh, available on FM and, and, and medium waves uh, inside Russia. Um, she is a very uh, respected member of the Tatar community. She dedicated much of her reporting to the preservation of the uh, Tatar language and culture. Um, in recent years, she uh, actively participated in an online Tatar language uh, education project called uh, AIDA Online, 
uh, it's a project that is uh, widely recognized in Tatarstan by Tatarstan's authority. Um, uh, it gained huge popularity, not just inside Russia, but also throughout the Tatar diaspora around the world. And she's also involved in cultural activities relating to Tatar language and heritage here in Prague. Oh, absolutely. Uh, uh, Alsu is uh, one of the top organizers and certainly a very active participant in, uh, uh, in a Tatar uh, summer festival called Sabantui. That's, a, that's an annual event. It's a, it's a national holiday, really, for Tatars around the world. Hundreds of people join Sabantui every summer, and those guests also included representatives of the Tatarstan government, the government that is now holding Alsu in prison on Moscow's orders. Let's return to your family. How are your daughters coping? Uh, we are a strong family. Um, it is certainly very stressful. Uh, I will say that we are um, overwhelmed by, um, uh, by all the support and offers of help. We very much appreciate that. Uh, my children are now focused on uh, their education. Uh, they are receiving uh, the support that they need from their school, from their teachers, from their fellow students. Um, 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 and uh, I will say that um, our, we're raising our children as free people. <laughs> uh, it is um, for an American child <laughs> who is being raised in the spirit of personal freedom with uh, freedom of choice, with a, uh, with a very strong sense of uh, the primacy of human rights and individual rights, um, free speech and free expression, it is so hard to fathom that their mother was thrown in a cold prison cell because of something that she either said on the air or published as a journalist. It is just nonsensical <laughs> for our children. Um, but we, we are staying strong, uh, and we do appreciate all the support that we received. Um, for my part, I, uh, I continue my work uh, as the director of um, Current Time TV, uh, which brings uncensored uh, news and information to Russian speakers around the world. Um, we are undaunted and in our work. Um, despite the circumstances, um, but we want also back. Our daughters want their mother back, and I want my wife back. She must be released as soon as possible.